Today we're talking about the brand new Nintendo Switch Online update that is now available to all players. I should say, if you are an Expansion Pack member, because this of course is a Game Boy Advance title in the form of F-Zero Maximum Velocity, I am excited to get into this game because it's one that I never owned on the Game Boy Advance, so while the nostalgia factor isn't there, I'm actually a huge F-Zero series fan playing from the SNES, primarily F-Zero X on the N64, and then putting I don't know how many hours into F-Zero GX when it launched on the GameCube. And so I want to boot up this game together with you all, have a general conversation on where the state of Nintendo Switch Online is today, and what we might be able to expect in terms of new content and updates now that the roadmap of games is actually officially all wrapped up. We'll get on the same page with all of that. Before we do, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on your bell notification to join Sumber Nation if you're new here. And with that, we'll hop straight into some gameplay. I am very excited to hop into this game because as I mentioned, this is not one that I owned growing up. I don't even know that I've actually played it at all, but I am a huge fan of F-Zero games. So we have different uh, series it looks like. So there's Pawn, Knight, and Bishop. I guess uh, Pawn would be the, no, that's not the difficulty. So I guess that's maybe the, uh, the actual stages that we're uh, gonna be racing through in Grand Prix. So we'll do Pawn and we're gonna keep it on beginner just for simplicity's sake. Uh, F-Zero, if you guys don't know, is a historically a very challenging franchise. I mean, in terms of being able to just come in first on every single race, you really almost have to have the stages memorized because what they do very well is make you legitimately feel like you're actually going fast. And so you really have to kind of memorize the, the stage curves and things like that. Of course, on these earlier stages uh, being like the pawn that we selected, um, I'm, ex I'm expecting the stages not to be too crazy, but um, the the one thing that the game always excels at, regardless of what system it's on uh, and which F-Zero game it is, is that it always makes you feel like you're going incredibly fast, and that is uh, no different here. So uh, I'm excited to check out these stages, you know, go through a different, uh, few different Grand Prix. Uh, I'm sure for the people who have nostalgia for this game will absolutely love it, but if you love F-Zero games, if you know what this franchise has to offer, you kind of know um, what to expect here. And I'm going to see if I can figure out how to use my boost uh, there's only a few different buttons on Game Boy Advance, so you wouldn't think it'd be that hard. Um, maybe, okay, I did that somehow. I think it might be R and L together at the same time. So anyway, we'll try to we'll try to do our best here. It's, it's not too much of a challenge on the lowest difficulty, but um, excited to see Game Boy Advance content this month. It is something that you get a little bit worried in there into March that we weren't going to get any kind of update. Of course, Nintendo's kind of on this cycle right now where... You know, in the February Nintendo Direct, we did get the shadow drop of the Rareware developed games, which was actually a mix of a lot of different systems. Um, what we don't see Nintendo consistently do is update all of their systems at least once a month, which is what I would love to see. But as of lately, we, we are at least getting content once a month uh, in some form, at least more often than not, I should say. Uh, but, you know, we had the Rareware games. That was a mix of like NES, SNES, and N64, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and then since then, we really, uh, it was just radio silence all of March. And then right at the tail end of the month, we got this as our content update. Of course, only for expansion pass tiers. You do have to have the higher tier service uh, in order to have Game Boy Advance games unlocked, uh, which honestly with, with like the Golden Sun games and everything that's been kind of added in recently, um, I, I do think it's worth it, uh, especially with all the N64 content you get as well. At one point it was a little bit more questionable and I still have complaints with Nintendo not adding in uh, enough frequently enough to the expansion pack tier, but anytime we get some new stuff, it's always a welcome addition. Uh, and now, as I pointed out earlier in the video, what we have to kind of be concerned about is, uh, is Nintendo even gonna give us a roadmap of games anymore for any of the systems that are currently on NSO? Because uh, we're through it now. Uh, and to my knowledge, this was the last one that they had showed in that trailer uh, for the Game Boy Advance all the way back. And you talk about a slow drip feed, drip feed schedule all the way back in February of 2023 is when they added in Game Boy Family of Systems. Uh, and we are now through all of the games that they showed us uh, uh, that future look like what would be coming to the to the consoles as far as content goes. So whether or not we even get any kind of roadmap of games again, I don't know. Nintendo does need to kind of by September timeframe start to talk about what's next for the service because it is an annual service. Uh, at least for the expansion pack tier, that's the only way you can purchase it. And because they launched it originally in October, uh, revealed it in a September direct, I believe it launched in October, uh, they kind of like to typically remind people, hey, this is why you want to stay subscribed or resubscribe whenever your subscription comes up. 
Um, so I would expect them to do something big with the by the September Nintendo Direct. If the rumors are true about the April Direct, which the source on that um, has actually said, I feel like the stage is so much more slippery than the other one for some reason. But um, anyway, the source that reported that there would be an April Direct is now doubling down on that, saying that everything that they've heard, um, they're still expecting a, pres a direct presentation to take place in April. Um, so that's exciting. Will, will we get an NSO update there and then maybe a, another roadmap of games? It's a coin toss, in my opinion, at this point with Nintendo, because they're really uh, they're not prioritizing having a roadmap. Clearly, uh, we didn't we ran through the N64 games. And since that roadmap is completed, we still never got another one. So it's not clear to me on whether or not Nintendo is going to actually communicate uh, the, the content to look forward to ahead of time or if it's just going to all be these uh, surprise drip feed announcements and updates. Um, they have been doing a shorter turnaround time recently. Like this was just a couple days from when it was announced to when you can actually play it. So, uh, and we are just crashing all over the place. It's more gonna be a survival to get through this stage than it is worrying about coming in first more than likely. But we'll get some of our power back here. Um, there's one thing you have to worry about F-Zero games is always taking too much damage will definitely do you in. Um, so we're not gonna worry about maybe coming in first. We're just gonna try to survive this thing. Uh, but I will say that in terms of content, uh, you know, it's going to be an interesting time. You know, it's pretty clear at this point that the Nintendo Switch being over seven years old, kind of in its wind down phase, you know, and I, the April Direct could change that. But there is definitely less going on with this system than there probably ever has been in history. And we do have some banger games to look forward to. Ports and remasters, mind you. Um, Luigi's Mansion 2 HD, $60 in June. Uh, I wish it wasn't a $60 game. I think that should be a little bit less cost. 40 bucks would feel like a much better value, uh, like Metroid Prime Remastered, but uh, that's neither here nor there. If Luigi's Mansion fans will get it, I'll probably get it just to talk about it um, and play it myself. But, uh, you know, you, you do have some some of the, some hard sell uh, on, on, you know, the price point on that one. Princess Peach Showtime was technically the only new content, like not a port or remaster or remake that Nintendo has put out this year. Um, and then we have really, like, as, as I mentioned, we're through the announced content for NSO as well. So I guess the, if you want to be super optimistic about it, the exciting part is, is that we don't know what's around the corner because truly everything has been taken care of at this point. Um, but at the same time, it very much feels like it could be a slow year for Nintendo. Now, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, that's going to be an exciting one to come out in terms of their game's roadmap. That is a classic game. And... Uh, arguably the best Paper Mario, period. And so, you know, there's... It and they, it feels like they've done a lot to the visuals in that game, if you've looked at it. I'm curious to see if there will be new content included in there. But uh, all of that said, I think 2024 would be a great year to actually see Nintendo lean into Nintendo Switch Online content more. Um, I think that that would, you know, really be a key right now because, oh, I guess we have to actually finish in order to continue in the grand prix yeah and then it just straight up takes you out so we'll like briefly check out a different uh a different course and let's just go ahead and hop into bishop real quick um just as i finish up my thoughts here on nso but you know if this was the year that they wanted to double down on all of the n64 games like give us donkey kong 64 super smash bros 64 with online play think about how much fun that would be um you know there there's a lot that they could really do in terms of uh diddy kong racing uh you know any of the rare games that are on n64 they should all be there in my opinion um you know there there's a ton of stuff that they could really lean into uh and game boy advance is still you know has has a lot of content that could come over uh there's um like all the mario and luigi games and then there's also uh we're missing like mario land from uh, Mario Land 1 from, from Game Boy, you know, there's still just missing content that if they, if Nintendo wanted to get, you know, gamers give them some extra stuff to play on a lighter software year, I think that this would be the year to do it. So, um, as you guys can see, playing on the lowest difficulty on this is still a challenge, at least it is for me. And some of it is just going to be like memorizing the stage and the getting your kind of your, your vehicle, uh, getting more accustomed to it. Uh, definitely, I would say mechanically from my first impressions on this game compared to uh, like F-Zero X or F-Zero GX, which is what I've played the most of my time in in the franchise, um, you're, it, it doesn't feel as advanced as the controls on those. I mean, you definitely feel like you're sliding all over the place a little bit more with just the analog, as you'd expect from uh, older racing games. So this one's a cool one, though. I'm excited to check out more of it. I want to hear from you guys at this point in the video how you're feeling about Nintendo Switch Online at this point in time. Now that we're through the content, 
uh, updated roadmap like what do you think is next for this service do you think we get another roadmap and that's kind of how nintendo chooses to communicate uh some future updates with us to tease what's coming or do you think that they maybe just continue this kind of announcement cycle where we don't know what's coming and it's just one game at a time and we have no clue until they're actually ready to pull the trigger and put it on the service so regardless of your thoughts and feelings on everything we talked about today I do look forward to hearing from you all in the comments down below before you leave the video as i do look forward to getting a back and forth conversation started with you all around this topic go watch the video on screen next if you haven't already also make sure you like subscribe turn on your notification bell and i will see you guys in the next video